Hey, welcome to Fans Cooking Fiction. I am Stephanie, and today marks three years since Infinity War came out into theaters. So in honor of those six Infinity Stones, we are going to make a six-layered dip. Now before we begin, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment down below what movie you would like turned into food. Tell me his name again. Thanos. There are six different types of infinity stones. Space, time, power, mind, reality, and soul. So each layer is going to be based off of one of the infinity stones. And the toppings will of course match the colors as well. There's a jingle at the end of this video. So the first layer that we're going to put into this bowl is bean. If you have a bigger bowl, use it. So these are just vegetarian refried beans. I threw it on the stove, heated it up, and now it's a little cooler and it's ready to go into the dip. I bet you like that sound. I'm just a super big stickler when it comes to nice layers, sort of. Next, we are going to harness the red infinity stone with some salsa. Alrighty, next color will be green. But stuff, you don't put salsa under the guacamole. Well, people, this is my dip. You can layer it however you want. Hopefully, it doesn't ruin the salsa So hopefully we can fit the rest of these layers in, but stuff, how are we gonna make sour cream blue? Blue spirulina. We're gonna mix it in a little bowl, and I'm not entirely sure how much to use, so we are going to use my little spoon to measure it out. So, just do, well, do the little dabby. That's a nice blue. Let's get this blue in here. Y'all, this is a beautiful blue. Steph, why are you using spirulina? Well, someone in the comments, thank you for commenting by the way, Tiffany, had mentioned that in the imaginary pie, not knowing how to make a blue, I used blue food coloring and she mentioned spirulina. And I kind of want to try the pie again. This looks good. Extra sauce for dipping. Okay, we are almost done filling these layers up. Next, purple stone. How do you do this, Stephanie? Red cabbage. Why is it called red cabbage? I do not know. But we are going to layer this just right on top. And if it's easier to cut them in smaller bits, cut them in smaller bits. It'll be actually a lot easier if you do that. Final layer, cheese. Get the good shredded cheese and we're just gonna sprinkle it on top. Yeah, get in between that cabbage. Okay, so the structure of the dip is done, but I figured why not just have some fun on the top and we're going to decorate the top with the colors appropriate to the stones. Woo -woo. Now, for orange, orange bell pepper. I'm just gonna put it over here. I think this is enough bell pepper. 
Now we're gonna move on to the red. And the red is baby little tomatoes. Now you can slice them in halves if you want. It's okay, but I'm just going to put a couple, right? Yeah. For the blue, we're gonna do a dollop. Next is purple. So we're gonna get a couple more of these. We're just gonna kind of rip them up into littles. Done. With green, we've got cilantro. But you can also use green onions if you want, or chives, or whatever, whatever. We're just gonna do a little, a little bit of cilantro. And it smells so good. Okay, the final part would be yellow. And I know that they're cheese, but I figured corn would also enhance the flavor. Just give it a little more crunch. So we're just gonna put a little bit right in the middle. I know that's not what the gauntlet looks like. It's okay. May I present to you the Infinity Stone Dip? Oh, guys. I can't wait to get some of this. All right, everybody. It is tasting time. You ready to try this dip? Uh, yeah, I'm excited. Go ahead. I'm really curious on this spirulina. I'm excited. Okay. Cheers. 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 Oh. Good. What do you think of the spirulina? Um, big fan. Uh, reason being is because one, when I was a kid, my mom would make spirulina popcorn with like a cheddar combination or the classic, you know, seaweed traditional spirulina. It adds just enough flavor. It doesn't dominate whatever it's being added to with a nice smooth glue without altering the flavor much. But delicious, fantastic. Well, there you have it, everybody. I was really nervous about the blue spirulina because. I don't know what it is. Maybe go easy on the on the beans. But again, if you have a big bowl, use the big bowl. But I think this was another success, especially with the first season of WandaVision and Falcon and Winter Soldier up on Disney Plus. This seems very fitting. So if you guys try this at home, or if you have your own little spin to it, tell us what you think about it or what you do in the comments below. And while you're there in the comments on this page, like, share, subscribe. Until next time, I'm Stephanie. This is Fans Cooking Fiction on Nom Talk Network, and you have a nomorific day. Bye! So there are six different infinity stones. Space, time, power, mind, something else, and soul. The beans smell so good, I want to eat it now. Okay, so there are six different infinity stones, and I also turned this into a little jingle to remember. Space, time, power, mind, reality, and so... So, each layer... <laughs> All right, everybody. May I present to you the infinity stone... Oh, titty!